Hello and welcome. This time I have the opportunity to test two function generators from Siglent. It's the SDG 1032X and the SDG 2042X. So I switched on both generators at the same time just to see which one comes up faster. And uh, on the left side it's the SDG 2042X and I think the speed depends on the firmware version. And it takes uh, 17 seconds. Both generators have built-in fans, which makes a quite remarkable noise. The SDG 1032 uh, has about 55 dBA. And the SDG 2042X has about 41 dBA. So here I put together the, for me, most important uh, differences on these two generators. On the 1032 you can only use the soft buttons for operation. The 2042 has an additional touch screen and as I have quite delicate fingers it's not easy to hit the wanted field on the screen. So I use a corresponding pen. Sometimes it's actually helpful to have a touch screen as you don't have to think about in which menu you have to jump to edit a value. I changed the waveform to ramp and we can see that the maximum frequency of the 1032 is 500 kilohertz and uh, on the 2042 it's 1 megahertz. We can find this behavior also on other waveforms. On all waveforms the 2042 performs better than the 1032 except rectangles. Here's the 1032 up to 30 megahertz and the 2042 only 25 megahertz. Here we see a rectangle waveform at 12.5 megahertz. On top it's the 2042 and the signal is a bit cleaner but uh, the rise time is more than double. And for those who want to see how the signal of a FY6900 looks like, here it is. Now the same at 25 megahertz. On both signal generators I choose a rectangle signal from uh, 10 megahertz and the duty cycle is at 50% on both and um, I change or I try to change the duty cycle at this frequency on the 1032 and uh, I choose the first digit and turn the knob and you see at 67.400 percent there's no more and down it goes to let me see 32.600. So now we try the same on the 2042. It's 83.700 and down it's 16300. So there's a big difference. Choosing pulse waveform we can see another big difference on the two generators. The 1032 can create a pulse width of 32.6 nanoseconds with the shortest rise time of 16.8 nanoseconds and the 2042 has the shortest width of 16.3 nanoseconds so it's half of the other one and a rise time of 8.4 nanoseconds. Now a quick overview on the built-in waveforms. There are a lot of rectangles with different duty cycles pre-installed. I choose the stair up waveform from the generator's internal library at a frequency of 6 MHz. 6 MHz is uh, the highest frequency the 1032 can generate. Here you see the differences in DDS mode, on top again the 2042. Now switching to true arbitrary mode, the 1032 reduces the frequency of, to a maximum of 1.8 kHz and the 2042 
can uh, generate up to 4.5 kilohertz. Here's for the sake of completeness a stair up on the uh, 2042 with uh, 20 megahertz in DDS mode. Here's a P pulse on the 2042 at 4.5 uh, kHz. Now only the rising edge in DDS mode and now the same in true up mode. This is the demo waveform from the internal memory of the generators. We look in detail on the first peak. It's unbelievable and I checked it twice. The signal on the 1032 in DDS mode looks a bit strange. There are a few possibilities to create waveforms that are not in the box. You can use the software EasyWave downloadable on the Siglent site. Here you can create your own waveform and load it into the uh, generator via USB or network. Another way is to record a waveform with your oscilloscope, save it to a USB stick and put this USB stick into the generator. Or edit the recorded waveform in EasyWave. In one of the next videos I will show this in detail. Also border plotting is planned for our next videos. If you found this video helpful you can leave a thumbs up or subscribe. So thanks for watching.